All right, 18. <clears throat> So rank the following nucleophiles based on strength. So they give us ethanol, they give us water. They give us a hydroxyl anion. They give us ethoxide. And they give us the acetate ion. So the negatives, of course, are going to be. OK, so here, let's start with the three negatives. They're obviously going to be the best nuclei nucleophiles over the neutral compounds. Um, the more acidic it is, the weaker base it is. Um, so the less good nucle the it's a worse nucleophile. It's not as good of a nucleophile. So we look at these and we say which one which one is the strongest acid, that's going to be the weakest nucleophile. Which one is the weakest acid? That's going to be the strongest nucleophile. So the, the conjugate acid of ethoxide is ethanol. And that's the weakest out of water, ethanol, and acetic. I think that's acetic acid. So that's going to be one because it's the weakest acid because it's the weakest acid it's going to be the stronger base so it's going to be a better nucleophile then comes hydroxide because it's conjugate base uh, it's conjugate acid water is the second is the second most acidic um, so it's conjugate base is going to be the second best base making it the second best nucleophile and Acetic acid is going to be three because it's conjugate acid. Um, the acetate ions conjugate conjugate acid is acetic acid. It is the most acidic, so that means this is the weakest base, and therefore the the uh, the less good, <laughs> the less strong. It's the less strong nucleophile. So then looking up at the molecules that are neutral, I look water is more acidic than ethoxide, uh, ethanol. So since water is more acidic, it's going to be a less strong nucleophile than the less acidic ethanol because ethanol wants to get water is more likely to give a hydrogen than to take a hydrogen than um, than ethanol. Ethanol is a little bit more likely to take a hydrogen than give a hydrogen compared to water.